I get the privilege of reviewing and playing with phones for a living, but at my core, I am a geek who just loves mobile technology, and I cannot wait for what's next from the folks at OnePlus. But they're keeping the OnePlus 5 under wraps and it hasn't leaked yet. We've heard conflicting reports of where cameras are gonna be, and I wonder what the phone's gonna look like. So, I took matters into my own hands, sort of somebody else's hands. Uh, I commissioned Ben Geskin to do some mock-ups based on what we think the OnePlus 5 is going to look like. There's a lot of conflicting reports. So those aren't official renders. These aren't based on any CAD drawings. It's just based on the rumors that we've heard and what we think it could potentially look like. So, let me tell you a little bit about the OnePlus 5. Let me start with why it's not called the OnePlus 4. Evidently, the number four is unlucky in Chinese because it sounds very similar to the word death. So, consider like the 3T, the OnePlus 4, and they are going straight to the OnePlus 5. So a lot of things it could be. It could be the ultimate flagship killer at an awesome price, which probably it will be because OnePlus has a history of doing that. There's been some rumors that have leaked out and things we think are true. So here's the spec sheet that I think we can expect uh, with the OnePlus 5. Uh, first, eight gigs of RAM. Uh, we've seen some about screens that have shown eight gigs. There's been some conflicting reports of it being six. Eight gigs would make a statement. 8 gigs would be over what Samsung's offering. 8 gigs are really beyond what anybody else is offering. That would be a statement. That would be a gauntlet drop. That's the kind of exciting thing that OnePlus likes to do. Snapdragon 835, that one you could, you could take it to the bank. Powerful chip, really good for battery. Uh, it should be powering the OnePlus 5. Also, ton of storage. 128 gigabytes should be on board. You can also expect a pretty giant 5.5 inch 2K screen. On the back, so this is where we ran into some trouble uh, when we were doing the renders. We heard conflicting reports that the dual 12 megapixel sensors would be horizontal or vertical. So we mocked them up a bunch of different ways. I thought that mocking them up vertically just looked better. That isn't based on any insider information. I just liked the way that looked. So this is what it could look like uh, with those dual 12 megapixel sensors. There should also be an 8 megapixel one uh, up on the front. We also seen some Geekbench scores start to leak out the OnePlus 5. Uh, we saw a single core score of 1,963 and a multi-core score of an insane 6,687. And just for a baseline comparison, uh, the Galaxy S8 Plus is 6,375 or thereabouts. So this thing should be an absolute screamer of a phone. Figure price, if this phone had like a Samsung badge on it, LG, HTC, one of the other manufacturers, you'd expect probably like a thousand dollars plus. The rumors are pegging this phone to cost about $449, which is crazy. I don't know what wizardry and voodoo Carl Pay and company uh, had to cut or whether or not it's made with unicorn and baby tears to get it to that price. Uh, but that is the alleged price of this powerhouse. We also thought it'd be fun to mock it up in some different colors. So here's just some random colors we threw in there to see what it looked like. We don't know when it's going to come. We've heard reports as early as June. We do know sometime this summer. So I'm hoping on the earlier side of summer, and not the later. So just as a fan who had had connections to try and get these renders made, uh, ben Geskin did an absolutely incredible job sort of making these renders. What do you guys think? If this is the OnePlus 5, is it the phone that you guys would pick up? Do you guys like the way the OnePlus 5 looks in our renders? Do you think it's what it's actually going to look like? And if it is what you guys think the phone's gonna look like, let us know in the comments down below. And this is something new for us, sort of commissioning renders. If you guys like this idea and you wanna see us do more for upcoming flagships or even smaller brands, give the video a thumbs up to let us know. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo.